Hi guys, I am Kenneth Paul Bimiones, BS Criminology 3A, and this is my vlog based on my reflection towards Rizal. Biographical sketches of Jose Rizal. There are a lot of things that I've learned when I read the Jose Rizal's biography that our instructor given to us. I learned that the family of Jose Rizal is composed of high socio-economic sustainability, wealthy, and has political powers back on that days, in which his family helped Rizal to be more educated, strong, and responsible. Through the influence by his family, he managed to be more intellectually and advanced in learning. He is capable to speak 22 types of languages, and it arises me how intellect he was. I see myself on Jose Rizal's family, in which they always help me to be more effective and guide me to the right path. My family always help me to be more productive and manage to overcome the problems in life. Jose Rizal has many achievements in his young age, and that motivates me to study hard to pursue my dreams. The feeling that I can do more, I can learn more, and I can achieve more than I expected so that I can help our country and be a useful citizen. Jose Rizal has intellectual greatness and it composed of four categories and that are heredity, environment, gift from God, and economic fortunes. The heredity of intellectual from his parents and he have it. The environmental which his uncle, mother, and people surrounds him help Jose Rizal to be more educated and have more knowledge. The gift from God which he is the great a gift from above and the economic fortunes which his parents and grandparents are wealthy to support his education. For me, everything is important, but the environmental is very important of all. Based on my experience, I learned a lot through the influence on my surroundings, through the help of my parents who surrounds me. I am able to have knowledge based on the influence of them like performing blood pressure tests because my mother is a licensed midwifery, also the environmental factors which I adopt the goodness and faithfulness of my environment. Also I learned that when opportunity comes to us, we must to cherish it and use it to develop ourselves. As Jose Rizal studying, he is thirst in knowledge which he like to learn more, it motivates me to learn more on the things that I didn't know yet and learn the things that I can be useful in our society and our country just like Jose Rizal has made to us. I will strive hard to finish my studies and help our community. Pragmatic Education Rizal decided to see famous eye surgeon in Europe for advanced studies in of ophthalmology. Jose Rizal wanted to become an eye surgeon specialist in order to cure her mother from an eye ailment. How hard it is to strive to learn and be an ophthalmologist. It touches me because I love my mother and I will do everything for her. How hard it is, I'll do my best to make her proud. In our society, there are a lot of people who disobey their parents especially his or her mother. But remember, your mother is always and the one who's always at your side. They must learn how to respect and obey their parents because the youths today aren't having the proper manners. Desire. The word desire, Jose Rizal's desire and dedication to help more practice and to be an expert in ophthalmology make him move to Hilbert. There are a lot of barriers in life and sometimes we let it win but Rizal doesn't. His desires make him move and strengthen his will to go on. I have desires in life but sometimes I cannot find a way to get there. My weakness is I didn't have enough dedication in life but today 
I'll do my best and strengthen myself to carry all the bar barriers so that I can reach my goals in life. In our society, dependent and lacked of self-sustainability and that makes our country to be more poorer. We must to learn to reach what our desires. Just like Jose Rizal. Rizal has many achievements in life and that is my inspiration which it helps me to be more to be more effective and study hard to help our country. Mastery, the word mastery because of the hard work in learning. He enabled to free himself through the through his mastery of the German language and personal charisma. He stayed freely in German in life. There are a lot of things to learn and through learning it will give another additional knowledge which someday we can use it to save ourselves just like Rizal or even our family and community. Rizal saves himself from the accusation of others. Learning through the process. As a Rizal wanting to and to be an expert eye surgeon, he continued to learn step by step, step through different clinics and that made him to have a lot of experiences and conclusion based on his understanding. For me, there are processes of learning and we must to apply it for better understanding. I learned that we must to consider all positive and negative aspects in life, whereas we must to make the negative aspects into inspiration and make it a positive one. We must to be hardworking person so that in the end, we will feel satisfactory in life. Travels, frustration, and disappointments. When Rizal came back to Kalamba, he gave free medical consolations for the poor. From the bottom of my heart, I feel comfortable and I can't explain the joy because of Rizal's faithfulness for his countrymen and he never abandoned, abandoned or disregarded his fellow countrymen and especially the poor. Soon, if I will be a law enforcer, I will be always faithful to my country and especially to my community. Sometimes in life, they only focus on getting richer as well as to be more rich in themselves and neglect people who seek help. It reminds me on how rich you are, but you cannot buy the true happiness in life and you cannot carry all your fortunes in debt. That's why helping others make me happy and the joy of helping cannot be replaced by money or anything. Rizal learned that his town mates and relatives were evicted from the Dominican Calamba states. How rude, how rude it is really. Rizal maybe feel the same sadness and frustration because of this news. I feel very unpleasant because of this. I remember my friend's family get evicted because of delayed payment, which I see all his frustration. I remember from one problem which it rooted and formed into another problems. It is not easy like the problem faced by Rizal, but Rizal's dedication to help our country will always be at his heart and helping our community is his goal which it enlightens me because how hard the problem in life when you have a goal reach it so that when you reach it all of your family and friends will be proud of you disappointments even though Rizal felt the disappointments in dealing for his family he always seek to help our country Rizal's faithfulness for our country didn't appreciate by others but I do if I were in Rizal's part, I will be depressed and I, unable to take this phenomena. I learned that how problematic the situation is, we must to find way and never be affected in the situation. In relating to our community, there are a lot of people, especially the youths who will escape their problems and won't deal with it because they feel that they cannot overcome it. 
they will end their lives because of disappointments and depression. But we must always think that all problems in life, there are always solutions for it. Let me lighten your mind by your family and loved ones. An exile life. When Rizal bought a ticket and won a lottery, he is very kind because he gave his father a part of it and the most of all he was able to build his home school and hospital and planted cacao coffee sugar cane coconuts and fruit trees Rizal never forget his countrymen which he seeks to help our country even though he was exiled from his town he always aims is to help others he taught 15 students on reading writing languages such as Spanish and English, ge geography, history, mathematics, arithmetic, and geometry, industrial work, nature study, morals, and gymnastics. I was happy because of the devotion of Rizal to his country. Others or even I would not think of helping our community when we will win a lottery. We, we will just buy anything that we want and makes us happy. I remember that because of my curiosity, I bought a ticket from STL and luckily I won 700 pesos, which for the first time in my life, I felt lucky but I didn't know that I am lucky so much because I have a good family who supports me and I have a better life. The Muslims in Mindanao knew Rizal and were willing to help which offered him to escape. But Jose Rizal answered politely, but an appreciative no. Jose Rizal knows what the best for him. He offered to be free, but he chose to stay because if he escaped, he will be much in big trouble. In life, we must to learn the value of truthfulness because it is the best for us. Back when I was a child, I'll com I commit a mistake. I hide it because I don't wanna I don't want my family to get angry with me because of the thing that I've done so I choose to hide it and the outcome is it continued to be a bigger problem I learned that we must to accept our mistake and tell the truth excellent use of time Rizal has a excellent use of time in which he has a, in which he is good in time management where as his time is very useful while study while studying while 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 studying of ophthalmology he go to museum to study the artworks and while having exile he use his time to help the improvement of the the Pitan town plaza and the construction of the water system for the town in myself, I wasted a lot of time when there are no works, assignments, or something important. I always waste my time by doing nonsense. Time is gold. That's why I must improve my time management and use of my time. It gives me a realization that instead of doing nonsense, I must use my time in answering in advance my assignments and do important things in life. Justice and Death Pashano, Rizal's brother, was tortured. Pashano remained silent and the Spaniards were not able to extract information from him. Rizal's brother was tortured, whereas he endured a lot of suffering and pain just to extract information about Rizal. I remember my big brother was always protecting me when I was a child. Sometimes when I commit a mistake and he will be questioned by my parents or some someone and he'll just silent for me not to be scolded. That that is not right, but for my brother that is the best way and I really appreciate that. Sometimes in life there are persons who are willing to protect us even though they'll get hurt and be scolded. Jose Rizal refused to be shot in the back to kneel or be blindfolded. His first request was that the firing squad not shoot his head. The back 
of the head was shot in previous firing squad executions of commanded individuals and some of them were shot while they were kneeling. The leader of the firing squad granted his request. In front of the firing squad, Rizal's second request was to shoot through the heart. His demand was turned down. In response, Rizal argued that he was not a traitor to Spain. The commandment were shot in the back method of executing great art traitors. According to the commander, he was to be shot in the rear pair his orders. Rizal accepted his fate in peace since that's what the Spaniards wanted to be happen. If Rizal been shot blindfolded, kneeling and at the head, that would have been humili humiliating. Still, the prospect of being shot in the back was also humiliating for Rizal. It would cast him as a traitor. Thus, he made one last supreme effort to spin and fall with his head facing the sky. Even I would do that request because I know to myself I just do the right thing not only for myself but to all my countrymen. In life, sometimes we must learn accept our fate and be happy for what we have done and accomplished. Rizal's death was at exactly 7.03 a.m. December 30, 1896. It is sad to read that. After all the hardships and learnings and all the knowledge was over, his love and patriotism for our country is over. But those people who believe in him, like me, the wisdom, knowledge, and the goals for our country will be at our hearts. We Filipinos are very thankful for everything that results dedication to our country. It reminds me on my future job, which if I will die, I want to die serving our country. I will serve as long as I can for our country.